Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have two tables here, and each table shows the relationship between x and y. So these are input-output tables, and we've seen these for several years now, even starting all the way back down in second and third grade, we've seen some input-output tables. But now what we need to do is we need to describe, which means we need to use words, and that's why all of your answer selections are in words rather than just pure numbers. Describe the relationship between x and y in each of these two data sets. So, since our x and y are, are in two separate columns, let's look side to side, right? Let's look, let's look from 1 to 5.5, 2 to 11.0, so on and so forth. Let's see if we can figure out the rule, and that will help us with the descriptions down below. So, how am I going to get from 1 to 5.5? Well, if my numbers are getting bigger, I've got two options. It's 1 plus something unknown equals 5 by 5. So I can try that. So 1 plus, let's see, 1 plus 4.5 would do it because 4.5 plus 1 is 5.5. So let's see if it's a plus 4.5. Let's take this 2 right here. And let's see if we can add our 4.5. And 2 plus 4.5, that's going to equal 6.5. But look, it should equal 11. So it's probably not a plus 4.5. So if it's not going to be that, let's try multiplication. 1 times something equals 5.5. Well, they actually kind of give us the answer, because 1 times anything is going to be that same number. So it looks like it might need to be 5.5. So let's see if it works on the second row. 2 times, and we'll do our 5.5 again. Let's see what that equals. 2, point, two times 5.5. Let's multiply that down here. 5.5 times 2, that's going to be 10. That's 10, 11. There's one number behind the decimal, so there we go, 11.0. Ah, there it is, 11.0. So it looks like it's going to be multiplied by 5.5. Let's check this other one over here. So it looks like it's no decimals, but it's a little bit simpler. 1 plus something equals 5. Since we're getting bigger, let's try adding first. 1 plus 4. So let's see if 2 plus this 4, that makes 6, but it should equal 10. Nope, so it looks like it's going to be another multiplicative relationship. 1 times what equals 5? Well, once again, 1 times anything is itself, so that's going to have to be 5. That's the identity property of multiplication. So let's see what happens when we do this 2.5. 10, yep, we are good to go there. So if we want, we can go and extend it down a third time for each of these just to make sure that we didn't get it wrong. 3 times 5, that equals 15. That's good. 3 times, we got 5.5 over here. Let's see, 5.5. I'm just going to add another 5.5 to this, uh, this product. I already did 5.5 times 2. Let's add another to get us to a times 3. And we'll get our 16.5, so we are good. Now we need to describe the answer. So data set 1 is times 5.5. Data set 2 is simply times 5, but they're both multiplicative. They're both this multiplicative word down here because we're multiplying. So let's look at our answers. A, both data sets show additive. Nope, that's going to be incorrect because we are not adding. B, data set 1 shows a multiplicative relationship in which 5.5, that works. Data set 2 shows an additive relationship. Nope. C, both data sets show multiplicative relationships. That works. Data set 1, 5.5 times. Data set 2, 5 times. Yep, that is our answer, C.